Okay, how's it going guys? Connor is here and welcome back to some more Pokemon Reborn. So the first thing you should notice is that we're not at the gym. I said we we're gonna take on the gym this episode, but we're actually be doing something before that. So as you can see, there's currently a storm happening on game. And it could happen naturally, but mine is not natural because I downloaded a mod which actually lets me control the weather. So as you can see here, we can go click weather. You know, we can choose whatever weather we want because there are certain event Pokemon that you can get if it's like a certain weather and for here if there's a storm going on in here you can actually get a uh, I forgot what it was called but that thing up there you see it wiggling up there yeah so we're gonna catch that it's an electric type forgot the name but it involves an Electros also I, I didn't really look into what the mod does but as you can see above our Pokemon's uh, above their name you can see the typing so our water ground poison so that could be that's gonna be really helpful for us so I can know exactly what typing Pokemon are but uh, yeah, it's going to catch this thing. A Pokemon appears to be leeching power through the metal. Pokemon attacked. So yeah, I'm going to catch this little eel motherfucker. Tynamo, that's what he is. So yeah, we're going to catch this thing just to have an electric type on the, t on the team. I'm hopefully not... Okay. We're just going to redo that. We are just going to redo that. That never happened. I can confirm that has never happened. All right, let's start again. I didn't think the water gun was gonna kill. For some reason, I thought water was not very effective, but apparently it's not. So we're gonna go try this again. All right, so let's go ahead. I didn't wanna do that. Didn't wanna do that. Also, also, as you can see, up at the top corner, it says what day it is and the time. So it's Wednesday, uh, 2130, which is what, 930? Yes, it is, 930. So let's go ahead and pokey gear, control weather, damn it, no, storm, normal, all right, so it's storming now, so we can go try again to get this thing, uh, hold on, all right, round two, first time didn't count, let's throw dud out front. All right, come at me, Tynamo. I think I know of three different Pokemon we can get. There's one at the gym, and I already checked. I think it's a Blitzel. There's this Tynamo, and there's something else we can get under the bridge. I think it's where we, we got our Noibat. Under that bridge, we can get another Pokemon. So that's three Pokemon you get, get during a storm, which is very interesting. I'm not sure if they're all electric types. Blitzel's electric, Tynamo's electric. I'm not sure if the other one's an electric type, too. But we're about to go find out. See, I did this just because so we can like search the area when it's clear, search the area when it's storm, just to see like what changes and what kind of obviously what kind of different Pokemon we can get. I think I can hit this thing one more time. Let's go for an astonish. I don't astonish shouldn't kill. It's not stab, and we can't even hit him, so that's great. Is that going to kill me? That killed me. He got a crit. Okay. Alright. Let's go with Iglybuff. It's your turn, buddy. Let's go. Hit him with that pound. A pound from you should, should be good. Oh, damn. Okay, it's in the red. Let's go for the catch. I want this Tynamo on my team. Let's do it. Come on. Big money. One, two, three. Fuck. I don't have time for this Tynamo. Why am I not speeding this up, by the way? All right. I can't hit it anymore. So I just gotta start going for start going for balls. There we go. Second try. So we caught ourselves a Tynamo. It's the Elephish. Pokemon move move in schools. They have an electricity generating organ, so they discharge electricity if in danger. I'm going to name you. Actually, I wasn't gonna name him Sparks, but I feel like I use that too much. 
My name is Slick. So there we go. We caught ourselves a time. Again, you can only get that Pokemon during a storm. So you can download the mod off the uh, Reborn forums. I might leave it in the link in the description below, if I remember. But uh, yeah, you just go to the Reborn page where you can download the game. It should be in the forums somewhere. I don't even know what I was doing. I was going to turn it off. I only wanted it... Actually, hold on. Before we turn it off, we have to go check the other Pokemon. And I believe the other one's under the bridge over here. There might be more, but I only know of three. One at the gym, one in that alley. Okay, now this one's a Panseer. So yeah, there's the Panseer right there. There is the Tynamo inside the alley that we were just in. And then there's another one, which I believe was a Blitzel. I didn't see it, but I'm pretty sure it was a Blitzel at the gym. So let's go check that out. Let's heal first and foremost. Thank you. All right, so now let's go back to the gym. Let's take on the gym leader. And check out what that Pokemon is right before, though. Yes, see, there's a Blitzel right there. So Blitzel, Tynamo, Panseer. If you want any of those, just go to those locations during a storm. So we're going to turn the storm off now, because I don't like it. And before we go to the gym, let's check out these field notes, because this should help us. So electric terrain. Field is hypercharged. Ground Pokemon can't fall as grounded Pokemon can't fall asleep. Okay. Electric attacks get a 1.5 advantage. And then certain attacks plus wait, hold on. Created by Electric Surge, Electric Terrain 5 turns. Stoked Spark Surfer. Okay. When attacker is grounded, they get a plus 1.5 for electric attacks. Certain attacks plus electric. So all these attacks become electric type. Explosion, hurricane, hydro vortex, muddy water, self-destruct, smackdown, surf, thousand arrows. Focus punch will always fail. Certain stat move effects go up. Charge and eerie impulse. And then magnet rise lasts eight turns. Oh, there's more. So these attacks get a boost. Explosion, Hurricane, Muddy Water, Self-Destruct, Smackdown, Surf, Thousand Arrows. These attacks get a plus two Magnet Bomb. Activates Surge Surfer. Disables Comatose. Gal Galvanize Power Boost 1.5. Destroyed by these moves. So Mud Spore and Tectonic Rage are destroyed. Nature power becomes Thunderbolt, and Camouflage becomes an Electric type. Seeker power Paralysis, and activates Elemental Seed, boosts defense and applies charge to the user. Okay, we have an Elemental Seed, so we could use it, but I don't think I'm going to. So there we go, that's everything there. Nothing really that deals with us, it's mostly just other things. We're mostly going to stick with Todd here. Soundwave is a backup. We have common candies in case we go over the over the level limit. So let's go ahead and do this. See, so you made it to the gym. The telecom system connects right to the Grand Hall, so no matter where you are, whenever you get a gym, you can call in for advice. Anyway, it's your first gym battle in Reborn, right? Reborn's gym leaders are a little tougher than other regions. For instance, every leader has a full team of six Pokemon. Not only that, they also use special effects arenas called field effects for tactical advantages. If you want to survive and reborn, you should get used to learning about and playing in these fields. May even find a way to turn some opponent's arenas against them. As for Julia, her electric field will make all of her same type attacks even stronger and add a jolt to some other attacks like her explosions. Standard fare, if you have something you can that can tank electric attacks, you're almost home free. Failing that, your best bet is to come in with a full team and hopefully some high HP Pokemon. Take the hits while you whittle her down. Good luck. Alright, so I have something that can take tank electric types. It's called a ground type. Alright, so let's speed through these chumps real quick. Mud shots for everybody. I don't like that he knows Sonic Boom. That's a bit annoying. But mud shots for everybody. And when I mean everybody, I mean everybody. Yes, everybody gets a mud shot.
Wait, what? Oh shit! Oh, I got, I got. Okay, I got to take him to this. There we go. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. All right, let's heal. Reap. Not a problem. Mud shot. Alright, come here, Voltorb. I need you to blow something up for me. Mud shot. Good old hold mud shot. Never fails. Never fails me. Last one. Oh, he has a Tynamo. I just caught you, and I think this thing actually has Levitate, so we're not going to be able to hit that thing with Mudshot, but we can use Water Gun. Works just as fine. Alright. <sighs> Let's do this. Don't know if I want to use a common candy on Todd right now. I think we should, just in case. So a level and a half is all he... Yeah, I just want to make sure he doesn't go over the limit. Let's do this. Hi, Mark. Welcome to the super duper ultra hydro electro dazzle happy boom time house of cheer. Just ignore all the super lame machinery junk. I need more banners and streamers and, hmm, fireworks. Wait, is that a safety hazard? Ah, uh, who cares? Anyway, don't think I'll go easy on you just because you helped us out earlier. I have pride to uphold. And former Captain Cheerleader, the Onyx Trainer School's honor depends on me. Oh, TS, we represent. We pack a punch and don't relent. All right, all right, all right. I'm wired, so let's fight. All right, here we go. Gym leader time versus Julia. This is for our first gym badge. Cheer Captain Julia. First Pokemon is at level 12 Minum. Not a problem. Mudshot. That lived. How did you live? I was not expecting this thing to live a mudshot to the face. Whatever. Mine and down. Voltorb. I don't like the sonic booms. Voltorb down. Two down, four to go. These things are only level 12, so I'm a little worried I overleveled. Oricorio. The hell is that? Oh shit, you're a bird. <laughs> oh damn. And this thing knows air cutter. Electric flying. Alright, so we need to heal now. Wait, what? Items are banned? Since when? When the hell did items get banned? Is that, oh my god, is that one of my mods? Oh shit. Oh shit. Is that one of my mods? Hold on. I need to check the mods thing. There's no way that's in game. I have to check my mods, hold on. Hold on. Yo. Yo. Bear with me for one second. I need to check my mods, because that shouldn't be a thing. Come on, Notepad, open up. I need to see these mods real quick. Oh, shit. I was not expecting that. All right, hold on. Is that really a thing? Uh, 
Okay, I can't read any of this. Hold on, let me... So, porn, data, mods. Items ban, yeah, it's right here. Okay, let me just get rid of that. What if I delete that file? Okay, now I deleted the file. Are we good? Wait, oh fuck, I think I have to restart. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna restart this and I'll see you guys after I restart it. Okay, we're back and yes, it was a mod. I deleted that mod. I looked over the mods this time and made sure that was the only thing I wanted to get rid of. Fuck, dude, why was that included? I don't like that. <laughs> I guess it's to make the game more harder, but that's not for me right now. I just want to go through the game. I mean, it might be hard enough as it is, but Jesus, okay. So now we got rid of the items ban mod. So everything else should be fine. <laughs> Good lord. Did not expect that mod to be in there. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead. Let's mud shot everything. There's the Oracorio. That air cutter. Did about 17. Alright, now let's actually heal. Let's just use the super potion to get us right back up to full health, or near full health. He healed too. Wow. Okay. Tailwind. Not a problem. We should be able to finish this. Alright, the Oricorio is down. Level 19. Plusel. Not a problem. You're a Plusel. Oh, shitty. Fuck. He encored me. Now I'm stuck in Water Gun. God damn it. Alright, heal him up. Don't care. It's a Plusel. You fuck, are you kidding me? This kid's actually got me stuck on using water gun. That's the smartest plus, why do you have a, oh it's electric. Alolan Geodude is electric rock. Well, water gun. <laughs> okay. So that's what it was, GG. And here's the big daddy, the electrode. Don't go boom, don't go boom, don't go boom. Sonic boom. Is that all you can use? One shot? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, we gotta heal. Gotta heal, because I mean, even with that speed drop, I don't think we're faster. So we gotta heal. Yeah, we were not faster with the speed drop. There we go. We did it! And just like that, we got our first gym badge. Huh? I lost already. Mer, whatever. I'm gonna go take a power nap, huh? All right, fine. <laughs> take your what you call it badge, the Volt badge, the Thingma Jigger badge. Makes stuff happen, and also allows you to use the thing. I need coffee. Oh, it allows you to use the uh, TMX cut outside of battle. Also, also with the Volt badge, Pokemon up to level 25 will always obey you. Also, 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 take this. Consider it a thanks for helping for help earlier. Charge Beam. I think our Tynemo already knows that. Uh, it doesn't go boom, but it is a useful move. Anyways, sleepies, good night. Are you actually sleeping? You are actually sleeping. Okay, so there we go. We got our first gym badge. I think. Yeah, before we. I mean, that's pretty much all I wanted to do for this episode. Oh, it's Victoria. Shit. Uh, I'm not sure if she wants to want to battle, but let's nah. She shouldn't want to battle, right? Mark, did you just win your first badge? That's great. I was thinking about challenging Julia, but I heard something awful. Apparently, something weird is happening in the Obsidia Ward. The plants are coming to life and attacking people. As soon as I heard, I knew I had to go over there and see if I can help. I had to stay and talk more, but I need to hurry. Bye. I don't even know where the Obsidian Awards are. I think it's above the Grand Hall, though. 
So I'll go join, but first, I want to go check something. So again, we're pretty much done with everything in this area, but I want to go check the Snubble. Because again, she said her Snubble didn't want to listen to her, and that she needed a badge. So I have a badge, so I wonder if I can, you know, take the Snubble with me. I'm going the wrong way. Wonder if I can get a free Snubble. Snubble is fairy type, isn't it? Granbull, fairy type? Should be. It wouldn't be terrible to have right now, at least. Let's go check it out. Can I have your snubble? I have a gym badge. Can I have it? No? My phone is ringing. Okay. Yeah, I guess I can't have it. I was, I was hoping I'd get to keep it, but I guess not. All right. So anyways, I think I'm going to... Actually, let's go check find the Obsidian Ward. <laughs> Before we end it again, let's go try to find the Obsidian Ward. Just so I know where to go. Obsidian Ward. I'm pretty sure it's above the Grand Hall. She went in that direction. I thought I saw something. No. Oh shit, got a badge, huh? Think you're cool? Oh shit, these people want to rematch me? Okay. I was not expecting a rematch with these people. That's gonna hurt. Never mind, it four damage. Okay, Jesus, calm down. I did not know these guys wanted a rematch. Alright, let's throw Slick out front so Slick can get some XP. He's only level 10. I don't even know if we looked at Slick, actually. Yeah, has Levitate, obviously. It's more attack than special, but just by a little bit. It knows Spark, Charge Beam, Tackle, and Thunder Wave. It's a decent moveset. He doesn't. Only certain people want to rebattle me then. Like you. So Waddle. Nope, time to go. Go get him, Soundwave. There we go. Four times effective. Nice. Guess that's a no then. I don't I don't even know I don't even know what you asked, honestly. Oh yeah, the people with the Pachirisu. Don't really care about that anymore. I don't need a Pachirisu. Here it is. Wait, do you want to fight? No. Okay. Mark, greetings. However, my immediate departure is necess necessitated. Obsidia remains in a vol volatile condition. My attendance is mandatory. Farewell. Reconsidering. Mark, are you attempting to access the Obsidia Ward? The area remains currently restricted for all outside civilians in reaction to the damage currently being inflicted. However, given the previous assistance granted at the factory, an exception may be possible. This person may be able to assist the present situation in Obsidia. Is passage permissible? Uh, sure thing, Miss Florina. Very well. Access granted. Situation briefing. An unknown force has recently begun continual engagement in these the overstimulation and manipulation of malig malignant flora life. Cause remains unknown. However, previous incidences of this behavior have resulted in large-scale destruction. Objective. Isolate and eliminate the source of the extraneous growth immediately. The target area has been narrowed to the Obsidia Park, hosting the majority of the floral species in the ward. Operation assets will assemble there. Do attend shortly. Farewell. Okay, so that's going to be happening in the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Spin Con Artist. I'll see you guys next time with some more Pokemon Reborn. Thanks for watching again. I just realized this thing at the top, it doesn't say art my time. It says in-game time, so that's a thing. Thanks for watching again. Peace out.